Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a short video all about the new Artec 261 inverter T welder. In this video, I'm only welding aluminium, but not normal aluminium, stacking nice pretty dames on the bench. I'm going to be welding an aluminium sump, which has been in service, so it's contaminated with dirty oil. This is a sort of repair I do all the time, what I call real world welding. I'm not going to show you how to weld, what I am going to try and do is show you the best settings to use on this machine to weld aluminium castings like this. This is an aluminium sump of a VW car. That's the hole where the drain plug goes and it's got a crack down there. The cracks are normally caused by over tightening, it's quite a common fault. You can't just run a little bit of weld down the crack, you've got to dig all this out and build it up into a solid lump with weld. I'll bring the camera in closer so you can see the crack. One of the hardest things with welding aluminium sumps, automotive stuff, is oil contamination. Getting the oil out of the aluminium before you try and weld it. Right, that's the crack, just so there, they always go in exactly the same place. You can see and say that isn't very much metal, but I'm going to build all that up solid and hopefully it'll weld quite nicely. It's all been washed out with acetone. When you're cutting aluminium, a little bit of candle wax on the cutter. Helps to stop it from blocking up. Right, so we've done a suitable amount of damage to it. When you're wire brushing as well, you don't wire brush like that because that rubs the oxide into the aluminium. Just do it in one direction like that. That looks reasonably clean. We'll give it a go and see if it'll take weld. It depends on what sort of alloy it is, if it welds or not. Normally these are decent material. I'm going to use this Artec 261 ACDC TIG inverter on the welder sump. The minute it's on DC TIG, we've got the AC TIG. It's on the easy set. That's your normal setting where you could set it up by hand. I'm going to go straight in the easy set because I find it easier to set basically. Right, so. We'll start with tungsten size 2.4, I use 2.4 for most things. We'll see it's 5mm thick, I'm only plenty of amperages. It's silicon based aluminium, call it a corner joint. Pulse, it's got 5 pulse settings built in. I found that pulse setting number 3 is good on aluminium castings. Using a pedal, it's going to give us 155 amps. I won't need all of that, but I'm using a pedal so I can back it off. Simple as that. I've used this setting before. I've actually got the settings saved in the menu. You can see up to 20 settings in there. So now when I come to the world, a casting like that, I just go straight to the menu and I'm basically well within the parameters of it. Gonna weld, you can go up or down 10 amps either way to fine tune it. Simple as that. Easy as that. You just clear the arc along first a little bit to get the heat in the wood. You see it's starting to cook the fat out of the aluminium. The little black fluid has that's a rubbish coming out of it. We've kind of got something to work with now. That's welded up not too bad, it's nice and clean. I blended the inside in as well. 
We'll knock some of these little lumps off with an angle grinder and then we'll see if we can machine it and get some new threads into there. Plenty of build up on there, machine it flat, drill it and tap it, and the job should be a good one. This is the mountain setup I've got. It's a little bit sketchy, but I'm sure it'll do the job. See, it's an angle plate. I've got one 10 mil bolt through the sump, and I've got a big clamp all the way around it. As long as I'm careful, I'm sure we'll be able to do something with this. In the video description box, there's a link to Artec to this welder and all Artec's other products. If you decide to buy an Artec welder or any Artec product, mention my name, it certainly won't do you any harm. If you want to see more in-depth repairs like this one, in fact, if you want to see how this one turned out and how I machined it, have a look at my YouTube channel. Anyway, thanks for watching.